Hello. In this short video, we will understand basics of operating system and its key functions. Operating system is an interface between the user and the hardware and is responsible for interaction of a computer's hardware and software. It also controls the execution of all the application programs. Before we move further, let's quickly grasp the key objectives of operating system. First is ease of use. The interaction between operating system and user shouldn't require highly skilled resources to use the operating system. One example is that of GUI interface of operating system, which makes it easy for users to interact with the computer. Unlike CLI, which requires more effort and high skill. Second is efficiency. When OS uses all the resources efficiently and provides maximum output from minimal input, it will be considered efficient. An operating system performs all the basic tasks like device management, file management, memory management, storage management, process management, handling input and output, and controlling peripheral devices such as disk drives and printers. First in the list is device management. As part of device management, it keeps track of all devices and input output controllers is responsible for this task. Operating system also decides which process gets the device when and for how much time. Another key device management function is allocation and deallocation of devices. Second in the list is file management. The operating system allocates and deallocates resources. It regulates which process gets the file and for what duration. Also, it keeps track of information, location, uses and status, etc. The collective facilities are often known as file system. OS also performs tasks like creating directories and files, copying or moving them and renaming or deleting them. Third type of task is called memory management, which refers to the management of primary or main memory. Main memory provides fast storage, which can be accessed directly by CPU. When the program is executed and finished, the memory area is freed, which can be used for other programs. Computer memory is arranged such that fastest registers come first, followed by CPU cache, random access memory, and then disk storage. The operating system's memory manager coordinates the use of various memory types, which is to be allocated or deallocated and how to move data between them. Process management is the next task. Every program running on a computer is a process, whether it is in the background or in the front end. The operating system is responsible for making multiple tasks to run at the same time, also called multitasking. Operating system finds the status of processor and processes, chooses job and its processor allocates processor to processes and deallocates process when it is executed. Mastermind Mastermind is one term we can rightfully use for operating system. Reason being that operating system performs a multitude of functions which can only be performed by a super intelligent mind, hence the term mastermind. Some of the functions which justify the term mastermind are It provides facility to increase the logical memory of the computer system by using the physical memory of the computer system. OS controls the errors that have been occurred into the program. It provides recovery from the system when the system gets damaged. Operating system breaks the large program into smaller programs 
those are also called as threads and execute those threads one by one storage management operating system controls all storage operations some of these include how to store data or files into the computers and how users will access the files the operating system is responsible for storing and accessing the files creation of files creation of directories and reading and writing the data of files and directories and also copy the contents of files and directories from one place to another now that we have gone through key tasks performed by an operating system let's talk about the operating system types operating system types are windows ios mac os ubuntu novel netware unix linux for mobiles there are customized operating systems some of which are ios symbian blackberry windows android os and bada